Hi, I'm Rose Simons of Rose's Health and Wellness. I thought today we'd talk about emotional stress release points. What's interesting is, is that they're built in us. So there's nothing to buy. <laughs> anyway, but we have to know how to use them. And really, we've been using them, but we just didn't know we were. So this is a better way to do it. First of all, we have to know a little bit of electricity in the human body. And so in electricity in the human body, we have the thumb is neutral and we have negative and positive in the fingers. But if you put the two together, you get neutral. So you always wanna work in neutral. And the emotional stress release points are where we would have horns above our eyes if we were a goat. And we will take our fingers and we will hold those points. And we've done this to try and remember something or we're deep in concentration, right? But we didn't know we were doing it. So you either hold it with two fingers and a thumb or four fingers, or if you wanna do it to somebody else, you can do four fingers, four fingers, or that yourself. Either way, the idea is a light touch on the forehead. And what that does, if your feet are on the floor, it will draw energy up past what's called back brain, which is negative emotional remembered. But it's also where things like uh, the alphabet song and learning how to tie your shoe, things that you know, like the back of your hand, they're stored in back brain, but also negative stuff is there. But we want to be up in logic and creative because logic tells you you can do anything and creative says, and I'll show you how. And logic and creative are the frontal part of the brain is also where short term memory is or things, new things that we've learned that aren't, haven't quite filtered back to long term memory yet because it takes like five times to hear something or experience it before it filters back to long-term memory. So we get under stress, logic and creative will shut down because we don't wanna be analyzing things. Let's say there's a bear over there and he's coming after you. Well, logic and creative shut down and back brain, which is negative, says, hmm, bear is coming, better run, right? Okay, well, that's all well and good, but the thing is we, weren't, we are constantly under stress now, so logic and creative pretty much go out to lunch, and all we have left is back negative emotion remembered or back brain. So that's where a lot of people can't ever get doing what they want to do. All right, so how do, how do we fix it? This is where the ESR or emotional stress release points come in and some breathing. So it's pretty easy. Put the points on your forehead, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, nice deep belly breath. There. Now we've gotten all our energy, followed the oxygen up to logic and creative so we can think straight, we can remember things, and we can access short-term memory things that we've learned. All right, good. It also gets us out of negative or I'm gonna die up into logic and creative, which is I can do anything and I'll show you how. So it's a good place to be. If you've ever seen the Adams family would thing, the hand that just runs around, I think everybody, if, if they're gonna clone anything, they should make things so that people can go around with a hand on their forehead and be ground, be up in logic and creative. I think the world would be a better place. Anyways, uh, it's also, well, it's just good for stress release, uh, as opposed to whatever it is you usually do. You always have your hands with you, and so therefore, give it a shot.
Perfect. So this has been Rose of Rose's Health and Wellness, and I hope to see you on the next episode.